Welcome to the Hilti Profus Engineering Suite Masonry Design Module. It will just take a moment to walk through the features here, including how to customize your settings. First, log in to Hilti Profus Engineering Suite and click on the Masonry application to access the Masonry Design Module. From the header bar, you can access help functions and take virtual tours of useful features. You can also access your profile information and change file settings here. By clicking on the wheel at the top, you can change the name and location of your file. You can also update settings like units and default parameters. Simply click Save and your changes will be incorporated into the design. Now, let's take a look at the navigation pane. The first button here is the Home button that will take you back to the setup screen. The other buttons are specific to this module and are ordered from the back to the front of the application, starting with the base material, then moving to the base plate, the anchors, the profile, and finally, the loads. Let's take a look at our Favorites tab. This tab comes preloaded with the design parameters that users most often need, and most designs can be done by changing just the parameters in this pane. You can customize this pane by selecting and deselecting different parts of the window over here. Next, we have the base material option, where we see the different options to customize the type of the brick, including the size, geometry, and installation conditions. Now, let's move to the base plate. You can customize the size of the base plates and select the orientation and plate thickness. Below this, you can choose the anchor that you want to use. The filter column allows you to shortlist the different types of anchors that would be relevant for your project. The Calculate All button will find all anchors that work. Here you can see the approvals for the different anchors. You can also check item numbers, embedment depths, and anchor layout. Next, we have the option to define the profile by selecting the shape, choosing the dimensions, and setting the eccentricity. Beneath that, you can choose if the loads are static or seismic. Now, let's look at the 3D model. This fully interactive 3D model allows users to adjust different dimensions and enter loads. The undo and redo buttons are great for quick iterations. The output pane shows the utilization or the capacity of the anchors being used. The notifications offer recommendations and show any inconsistencies in the inputs that might have to be modified to get a valid solution. Now we can generate a report of the calculations we completed. The report contains the design conditions, the calculations, and the results, which state that the fastening meets the design criteria, as well as the installation instructions.